This is chapter 10, DNA and protein synthesis. But first, some DNA facts. DNA is about two meters or six feet long. One body has about 10 trillion cells. Each cell has a nucleus with DNA in it. All your DNA in your one body would stretch end to end over 744 million miles. That would take you to the moon and back about 1500 times. It would take you to the sun and back about four times. I'm going to show you a picture of DNA. This is the DNA. You can see it's a, it looks like a twisted ladder because that's what it is. This is the untwisted ladder. DNA. You can see it has the sides. Those are called the ladder sides. And in the middle, these are the rungs or the steps of the ladder. And what we're going to be doing in our class is we're going to be making this untwisted DNA using paper models. Here are the paper models. This is our untwisted our DNA. Our untwisted DNA. You can see it has the sides the ladder sides and the rungs. And right now, as it is, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. It's an eight step ladder. Let's tell you some things about these DNA pieces. You could say each of the pieces are separate. These are the smallest units of DNA. These are called DNA nucleotides. So when you put all the DNA nucleotides together, they make a ladder. Each DNA nucleotide is made up of a phosphate, a sugar, and a base. There are also four bases. You can see here are four of them. You can see that there's a phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar. That's the yellow and the blue. And all the bases, the A stands for adenine, G is guanine, T is thymine, and C is cytosine. You see there is a slight difference between the bases. Is that the C and the T are smaller, half the size of the A and the G. And that's because the C and the T are what we call pyrimidines. The bases have one ring. The C only has one ring, and the T only has one ring base. They call that a base. Those are called pyrimidines. These are bases. These are nucleotides with single ring bases. The G and the A, you can see, are double. The G has two rings, so that's why it's, I made the bases a little bigger, and the A has two rings. These are called purines two ring bases. The only four different kinds, A, T, and G, and C. All right. Um, you could see that I also designed the bases so that, that they have different shapes to them. And that only one thing, A, can, A and T can only fit together, and G and C can only fit together. We call it that complementary base pairs, A, can only base pair with T, and G can only base pair with C. And as you can see down here, or we can go the opposite way. I could put the G on this side, so that means I have my C on this side. I could put just like I could put the A on this side. So whatever's on this side, the only other nucleotide that could fit would be the complementary base pair nucleotide. So A and T, and G and C. So now I'm going to show you replication using our paper models. Now replication is a process that occurs in the nucleus of your cell that allows your cell to make a copy of its DNA for a new cell, a new cell that would be needed in your body because it was either damaged or you're growing and you need new, new cells and new cells need new DNA. In order to get that, one of the cells around it is going to replicate. 
So what I'm going to do is show you that I'm making a four-step ladder here. One, two, three, four. And there are a couple words before we begin. There's two enzymes. One is called helicase, which is an enzyme that, that breaks the bonds between the bases. And one is, the other one is DNA polymerase, which puts, which brings the bases together and holds them together. So enzymes are like scissors and glue. So as we, as we talk about replication, we need to use these enzymes. So here's our demonstration. You make your four-step ladder. My hands are enzymes. I want to say that this occurs in the nucleus of a cell because the DNA never leaves the nucleus of a cell. The helicase breaks the weak hydrogen bonds between the bases. And as we do that, notice I separate the two sides of the DNA. In the nucleus, we have something called free nucleotides. These are just made in the nucleus. They're, what they're going to do is they're going to go on the inside and base pair using using the complementary base pair, GC and AT, using the other enzyme called DNA polymerase. And as I do this, I'm randomly just picking some and going down each side, making sure that I'm base pairing correctly. A with T and G with C. And you can go in random order. And again, this is all being put together because of the enzyme DNA polymerase. And now what you see here is replication. I want you to notice these are two identical copies. T C G A, T C G A. I want you to also notice that each of these DNAs has an old strand and a new strand. So let me go back again. This is our original strand, T C G A. They separated with helicase. Then we took polymerase and we base paired from the inside to the old strand. Here's the new strand. Which is really interesting because that means that all your DNA has a past. That is called replication. So one of these would stay in one cell and one of these would go to a new cell.